Hello everyone, this is session 2 of quality control and improvement using Minitab. So, I am Professor Indrajit Mukherjee from Shailesh Jimetha School of Management, uh, IIT Bombay. So, uh, in the first session what we have done is that we have tried to understand what is quality and uh, why it is so important, quality is why it is important and then we have tried to define manufacturing quality and service quality like that. We have discussed about Forest Raman's gap model and uh, uh, how service quality is captured like that, manufacturing quality is much more uh, easier to understand like that. There are 8 dimensions, Garvin dimensions we have discussed. So, uh, today is uh, we will try to see that uh, how uh, need of the customer is basically addressed like that, ok. So, for this our agenda will be uh, uh, voice of the customer, how customer voices are captured. So, we will try to discuss that one and how they are prioritized basically that also we will try to discuss in these uh, sessions like that, ok. And then we will also talk about critical to quality characteristics that relates voice of the customer uh, and uh, that is the agenda of this session too like that, ok. So, a uh, voice of the customer is basically need of the customer. So, whenever uh, we think about a products we will define uh, like what we have mentioned that there, there should be a need to buy by a specific products like that. And uh, need of the customer needs can be in multifold that means, it is not single need it can have multiple needs like that. Similarly, in a products we may we may ask for many different uh, characteristics which is required in the products like that. So, those are the voice of the customer basically. Customer will not say specifications of them, they will say just in abstract form that these are the characteristics we are looking for. Uh, maybe seeing the competitors products like that, they will try to define and you will find that people are doing surveys like that, companies are organizing surveys to understand uh, what is specifically need of the customer. If there is a, uh, if need is not understand then what we will deliver basically. So, whether it is uh, manufacturing, whether it is service like that, first you have to capture what the customer wants, what, what will be good, what will be bad. Uh, in a products like that. So, that is known as voice of the customer like that. So, let us take a simple example to understand that one. So, voice of the customer, ok. So, a burger company wishes to uh, add home deliveries uh, for a specific products like that and uh, for that they are doing the surveys like that and they want to understand what is the voice of the customer for this. What are the voice of the customer? If I am doing a home delivery, what, what should be the uh, necessary characteristics in a product that the customers will prefer like that. So, here I have just uh, uh, mentioned uh, some different voices. So, a customer may want that uh, I want a hot burger, whenever it is delivered it should be hot like that, ok. They can say I want it very quickly like that, that is also a voice. So, they are not giving specification anything over here, they are just mentioning that I want it very quick. So, that can be the voice too. Then they can say what is the choice of the toppings that we will try to prefer like that. And finally, the cost should be reasonable like that. So, it should not be very high like that, ok. So, these are the four voices, there can be n number of voices when we are doing home deliveries like that. So, we can we can add more voices over here. So, but we are trying to see that how this voice needs to be addressed like that. So, we will take only one of these voice that is quickly, we, we will try to uh, understand that uh, how this voice is addressed by any companies like that, ok. So, I want it quickly, I want it quickly. So, in this case uh, what we can think of, whenever I am thinking of a characteristics quickly over here which is the voice of the customer. So, uh, this can have sub voices over here. So, whenever somebody thinks about quickly, whenever I want it I should get it like that, ok. Then speed of the deliveries, speed of the orders that can be another dimensions to this and as soon as possible that can be another dimensions to this. So, uh, this is the voice of the customer that we are talking over here. So, this is the voice of the customer. So, this can be sub voices over here. So, sub voices, so voice of the customer can be subdivided into voices like that. So, uh, we can think of uh, this as a number one voice sub voices, this is the sub voice number two and this is the sub voice number three like that. So, here also I am not specifying anything. So, I am, I am customer is mentioning that by quickly I mean these things, it should be very, very fast. I, when I place the order, it should be as soon as possible, you should deliver that one and whenever I want it, I should get it basically. So, that is another dimensions, maybe we can think about as uh, when we are talking about voice of the customer, which is quickly one of the dimensions of uh, need, ok. So, then uh, whenever I want it, I can also define a uh, specification uh, for being in the inside the organization, we can define that 11 am to 11 pm, we can, we can just say to address these voices, uh, what we can do is that we can open it from 11 am to 11 pm like that ok, home deliveries can be available uh, this time to this time like that ok. Whenever I am talking of speed in that case, uh, I can think of that I should answer the ring very fast like that and also call duration should be very less when I can close the order basically ok. So, call duration should be very less like that ok. 
and uh, here what you see is that I have, I have given specifications like that. This is less than 60 seconds and if it is more than 60 seconds what will happen is that service failure will happen basically. So, in this case we have defined that this is the specification if if I fail that is a failure from our part like that and that is a defect basically service service defects basically we can say we can think about a service failure if we are if we are not uh, at, if, you are, if you are not able to deliver within 60 seconds that call is not closed like that. So, uh, or order is not placed like that. So, that will be considered as failure over here. So, people should be trained or uh, people who are giving the uh, service or who are answering to the calls like that. So, that has to be finished within 60 seconds like that. So, I have given a spec specifications over here. So, I have given a specifications over here. Okay. So, as soon as possible we can also think about the minimum time uh, from call to uh, front door like that. Here also I have given a specification that out of door that means from my uh, premises the order should leave within 30 minutes like that and the delivery should be within 15 minutes like that. So, time time point or the localities uh, that I am delivering should be within 15 minutes I should be able to reach there like that. So, uh, that is related to transportation let us say. So, but out of door delivery, out of door, de out of door time is mentioned at 30 minutes over here. So, which can be related with the process specifications over here. That means order queue time uh, should be less than 5 minutes, make time should be 5 minutes, this bake time should be 5 minutes, uh, packaging time 5 minutes and wait time should be equals to 0. These are the cycle times we can think of, of make time, bake time like that, pack package time like that. These are the cycle times of the uh, sub processes basically over here. So, if you have to deliver within 30 minutes, I have to I have to uh, maintain these specifications or, or if there is any fault over here I cannot deliver within 30 minutes basically I cannot deliver in within 30 minutes over here. So, what we are seeing is that voice of the customer is translated into CTQ which is having specifications basically which is having specifications. So, uh, this is uh, specifications. So, uh, this is uh, relationship between voice of the customer and CTQ. So, whenever I have a CTQ, uh, I am able to measure that one and if there is any fault that is a defect that we will uh, categorize that uh, specifications into. Okay. So, uh, so, voice can have sub voices over here. What we have seen is the voice of the customer at the customer level, customers uh, level we are getting this voice. At product level, uh, we are defining the CTQs and CTQs can have sub CTQs over here also we can see. So, voices, sub voices, every sub voices can have a CTQ and it can have sub CTQs also like that. So, if we uh, generic diagram, if you want to draw like that, you can see that over here uh, what what I am showing over here is quickly is the dimension that we want to need that we want to address over here. Then we have divided into sub voices what you can see is that. So, we have categorized into sub voices for a specific voice and this sub voices are specified by some CTQs like that which is having specifications. So, whenever I have a specifications I, I need to measure that one and whenever I measure I can only improve that one. Okay. So, conversion of a abstract form into a technical requirement uh, is what we are doing over here. So, that is known as CTQ conversion. So, when you when you uh, when uh, you talk with a quality professional, they will talk about we want to improve the CTQ. So, what is CTQ? CTQ is coming from the voice of the customer. Okay, we are giving a specifications to that. Okay. So, uh, this is defined by the engineers uh, within the organization who are manufacturing the products basically. So, whenever I have the CTQ, in that case I, know, I know what to improve that will uh, that will relate to the voice of the customer or that will relate to the need of the customer and if there is any mistake in the CTQs and it will impact the voice of the customer, uh, any one of the voice of the customer that is important to the customer. Okay. So, so this is the relationship between that. So, now uh, there can be n number of voices. Now, how do we prioritize the voices like that? How do we prioritize? Then uh, Noriaki Kano uh, proposed this model which is known as Kano model, very popular model to identify and prioritize the need of the customer basically. So, which is important, which is not important. So, he has categorized these needs and for that he was given the Deming award basically. So, the highest individual <coughs> quality award. Okay. So, uh, what he has done basically for which he has uh, got the award. So, he has uh, tried to uh, prioritize the need of the customers like that. So, capturing uh, how do we capture the voice of the customer and prioritize those voice of the customer. Because if I can prioritize in that case I know which which is to be improved that will impact customer satisfaction basically. Okay. So, the, he has given a model which you can see uh, in this diagram which is known as Kano diagram over here. 
it has y axis and x axis over here. So, if you if you if you if your customer satisfaction increases this is on this direction if customer satisfaction decreases this is in the y direction negative direction. So, if the product feature is present this is in direction and the product feature is absent it is in this direction over here ok. And there are three lines what you can see one nonlinear lines on this axis which is known as attractive uh, needs over here that is defined attractive needs over here. There is a must be category needs also given over here which is also non-linear type over here and one is linear type which is known as one dimensional needs over here that is mentioned over here. So, these are the three uh, uh, basic need category what Cano has tried to explain in this model over here uh, in the diagram over here. So, in this case. So, uh, he has categorized into different categories. So, one of the category of uh, voice of the customer is must be type of needs. So, this is one of the uh, type of needs what customers have. So, this is must be. So, if it is not there customers will be dissatisfied basically. So, uh, this is uh, order qualifier we can think of. So, uh, from marketing perspective we can think of order qualifier basically. So, if it is if it is there uh, uh, it is ok, but if it is not there we are totally dissatisfied we will not buy the product basically. So, this is the must be category product. And uh, then there is one dimensional type of uh, uh, needs that means more you provide more I am satisfied like that ok. So, must be category what we can think of over here is safety of the car, car brakes, uh, engine starting, smooth engine start like that uh, if we are talking about car design like that. So, in this case these are the priorities of the customer. So, if it is not there, if, if safety is not there I will not buy the car basically. So, this is the must be category. So, if it is not there I will be completely dissatisfied like that ok. So, there can be one dimensional needs that means more you provide more I am satisfied like that. This is also known as performance needs like that. So, uh, what we can think of fuel consumption if it is less we are more satisfied more it is less uh, cost if it is less we are more satisfied ok ensuring quality of, of course. So, in this case. So, uh, power consumption if it is less we are more satisfied like that. So, uh, this is one dimensional need or linear needs that we can see more we provide more I am satisfied ok. The third category of needs or voice of the customer what we can think of is uh, uh, attractive needs ok. So, that means customer is not expecting this one in the products, but you are providing. So, your designer is giving this one. So, customers are amazed when when they see these type of features like that ok. So, here we have mentioned that rear view mirrors that can be controlled without opening the windows like that customer is not expected ok. So, you have provided. So, in that case in that in that uh, segment of the car car segments like that and it is not provided by anybody else and you are providing it in the same cost like that. So, uh, that is a um, attractive kind of category which uh, non-linearly increases the customer satisfaction. So, when they see that they have not expected and immediately what will happen is that their satisfaction level will go up suddenly go up like that. So, that is known as uh, uh, we can think of that as a uh, attractive needs like that ok. So, uh, then uh, what we can think of is that uh, another another category of need is that I am indifferent to this that means, uh, this is the indifferent category what we are mentioning over here. So, in this case what we can see is that uh, if you provide I am I am non neither dissatisfied not satisfied because that is not needed as such. So, ok. So, which is a indifferent need that also I need to understand that one. So, uh, I should not put effort on indifferent kinds of needs like that and there can be also reversal types of needs that means, if you provide uh, if the complexity of the mobile is too much in that case uh, age group let us say above 60 uh, will not be able to use that one. So, they uh, they will get dissatisfied like that or irritated like that ok. So, that is a reversal kinds of needs that means, if you provide that one uh, that is basically uh, moving the customer satisfaction in the negative direction customers are dissatisfied more you provide that type of uh, features more customers are dissatisfied. So, I need to understand what are those also. So, in this case so that I do not include that in the design like that when I am when I am trying to develop a products which is uh, more customer need oriented like that. So, I will I will try to avoid those things. So, uh, there are there are categories over here. So, uh, Kano says that uh, all the needs are not same. So, they can be categorized as must be category, one dimension category, attractive category, indifferent category, reversal category over here. So, must, must be has to be there, one dimensional attractive feature will only improve the customer satisfaction. So, in this case one dimensional feature what you see over here and uh, this is uh, attractive feature what you see over here. These are the two categories uh, if you provide customers are more satisfied, one is linear, one is non-linear. Uh, that will improve the customer satisfaction. So, this can be customer satisfaction on the plus direction we can think of and this can be on the minus direction what we can think of over here. So, uh, this is 
cano model what was given by Noriaku and Noriaki cano uh, and uh, we will take a simple example to understand how this prioritization is happening basically over here. So, in this case uh, what we will do is that we will try to take an example. I have taken from a article which is given by uh, Pan and uh, co-authors like that in 2013. This is in Shanghai Disneyland to understand uh, uh, how they have prioritized the needs like that using Canon model how they have done that one. So, there are different voice of the customer that you can see over here various dimensions of the voice of the customer. One is related to transportation, one is related to facilities, one is related to service, uh, another may be related to localization that means where it is. So, uh, they are trying to open <coughs> a Disneyland in Shanghai. So, in that case what are the dimensions of voice of the customer how which is uh, which I can place in uh, must be category which should be in uh, one dimensional category or <coughs> which should be in uh, uh, in different category or uh, uh, so those categories which is attractive category like that. So, we want to stratify that one uh, and based on that we will put emphasis in one uh, we will emphasize on one some aspects uh, we will discuss some other aspects like that. Okay. So, uh, within uh, this voice of the customer what you can see is that voice of the customer this is voice of the customer move. I have provided uh, also there are sub categories over here. I have not taken all from pan over here. So, the some of the categories I have just mentioned some of the categories that they have identified like that. Okay. So, uh, they have mentioned in their work like that. Okay. So, uh, transportation related to transportation shuttle bus is one of the, they are providing shuttle bus or not. So, this is a specific need. So, access to the by subways this is another specific needs for customers has told mentioned uh, in during the surveys like that. So, similarly these are the two dimensions over here. So, uh, transportation we can think of this is uh, within transportation there are two voices over here we can think of sub voices over here. So, one is providing shuttle over here another one is subways ok. Similarly, in facilities uh, it should be larger than Hong Kong uh, there should be rest areas there should be golf courses like that there should be enough toilets like that these are the facilities that we are. So, these are the sub voices what we can think of these are the sub voices over here. So, this is one sub voice this is second one this is third and this is fourth over here. Similarly, in service also uh, staffs are greeting visitors like that uh, service aspects the dimensions of voice of the customer can be there should be a play in the park a play area in the park in late evenings like that. The, they should provide online ticketing uh, and they should uh, provide uh, prohibits from bringing any foods or drinks like that. So, that can be also we can check about that. So, localization uh, another dimensions what we are mentioning over here. So, this is voice number one we can see these are the sub voices to uh, of a specific voice over here. So, this is voice uh, two we can think of this may be voice four we can think of over here. So, this voice four we can have sub voices like that providing Chinese food whether it is important or not and which category it will fall in the needs that we want to identify over here and also special events whether it is important how much it is important like that in which category of needs is false like that. So, these are the items or sub categories were what we are interested into. So, this is one uh, these are the aspects like that this is not exhaustive list what I have shown over here, but just for an illustration I am using this uh, specific uh, 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 journal articles which which addresses the uh, cano model which discuss about cano model and how how it can be implemented like that. Okay. <coughs> so, within this uh, voice of the customer let us say voice 4 over here I am I am taking a specific voice which is providing Chinese food or not ok. So, uh, how do you say that this is a must be category this is a uh, one dimensional category uh, this is a uh, attractive category which category it will fall this sub voices which category it will fall how can you uh, differentiate this one how can you differentiate this one. So, for that we have to understand what Cano has proposed basically. So, I am taking only one sub voices which is provide Chinese food or not. So, then uh, what Cano has done is that uh, he has proposed like that functional question and dysfunctional questions over here ok. So, what is the functional questions uh, that is mentioned over here how do you feel if uh, Shanghai Disneyland provide Chinese food ok. There can be alternatives to this you can respond to that. So, I, I will go to a customer and ask that uh, this is one of the dimensions I am analyzing and we which category it will fall. So, for that I am making a question over here uh, and you have to respond uh, with this uh, five options that I am giving you. I like it, I, I it must be that way, I am neutral, I can live with it and I dislike it like that. So, you have to provide your options like that. How do you feel if Shanghai Disneyland provide Chinese food like that? This is a functional question. 
and uh, or positive questions we can think of and these questions will be placed in reverse order that means negative questions also that is dysfunctional questions what we can think of okay. So, let us let us assume that uh, one of the candidate one of the candidate or customers has mentioned that I am neutral to this whether you provide food or Chinese food or not I am not much worried about that. So, I am neutral to this ok. <coughs> so, uh, then I ask a dysfunctional question over here how do you feel if Shanghai Disneyland did not provide Chinese food like that. So, if they, they are not providing uh, what do you feel how do you feel like that. So, in this case if they are not providing again the person says that I am neutral to this like that. So, uh, this is one of the sub voices and the one of the customer has responded that I am neutral to this a, a different customer may uh, may mention a different option over here. So, in this case uh, and we are not restricting what option a customer will take ok. This is one of the customer as an example I am mentioning over here that he has mentioned that uh, I am I am neutral to this for functional questions and for dysfunctional questions also I am neutral to this like that. Then uh, what uh, what you have to do is that uh, you have to use a Cano evaluation table like that. So, customer requirements functional and dysfunctional is provided over here in a scale of 1 to 5 over here. This is dysfunctional question which is also in a scale of 1 to 5 over here. So, in this case uh, what you can see is that in dysfunctional question what was the response? Uh, this was the neutral response that the customer one specific customer has given. Also in the functional questions he has mentioned that uh, it is a neutral kind of uh, response. So, these are the neutral response. So, so what you have to do is that go in the table and see where it falls like that I go down over here. So, then I see that they are intersecting in a in a in a box which is which, which is showing in different basically ok. So, these are the uh, uh, letter code what you can see is that A means attractive one, I means indifferent over here, R means reversal, Q means questionable the response is questionable like that this is one dimensional or performance features or needs like that and must be category you can see over here. So, these are the categories. So, uh, some are questionable see if you if you like and this is also the both functional and dysfunctional so like that means the response is questionable basically we can avoid that questions uh, we can avoid the response basically. So, in that case. So, uh, but what we can see is that using Cano model every response for a specific voice can be can be identified that this customer is giving. So, this matrix is given by Cano. So, in that case we are using this model only to evaluate whether it falls in which category like that it falls in which category. So, making a functional question and dysfunctional questions for a specific sub voices will lead to identification for a specific customer whether it is a indifferent category whether it is falling in a reversal category questionable category must be uh, attractive features or not. So, this can be categorized. So, immediately what we can do if you are doing a survey of many participants here the number of participants was taken as 63 and each of the voices each of the sub voices what you can see is that provide shuttle bus. So, there is a functional question and dysfunctional question that was done and uh, priority of the customer whether it falls in attractive features or one dimensional features performance dimension or must be indifferent uh, reversal questionable like that. So, these are the uh, I can immediately stratify. So, 16 if you sum up this one. So, 22 plus 13 uh, this plus this plus this and then uh, it will be total 63 uh, response that you will get ok. And then what you have to see is that for this category which is the highest response that is providing. So, most of the people are saying that this is falling in the using Cano table that we have mentioned. So, we are seeing that uh, 22 response is in attractive category over here. So, uh, the highest response we have to take over here. So, in this case it will fall in attractive category. So, other response I will ignore. So, I will say that for this voice of the customer dimension it will fall in this category over here. Similarly, for the second dimensions which is uh, subway. Uh, uh, which is the next voices a uh, uh, sub voices basically in transportation. Similarly, there can be other other sub voices in the transportation. So, everywhere we can uh, we can just categorize over here. So, this is in attractive category over here. Now, let us come to the providing Chinese food or not. So, 60 63 response that we have received over here. So, that can be categorized that that was seen to be categorized into this different these different aspects over here. So, 19 have 19 people says it is a attractive category 9 says one dimensional 3 says must be 31 says it is uh, we are indifferent to this ok reversal only one over here. So, which is which is maximum over here. So, indifferent is maximum over here. So, this falls into indifferent category over here. So, immediately I will know this is in indifferent category 
okay but these numbers are hypothetical over here and if there is a tie what you have to do like that if there is a tie what will come in the final category list over here so in this case cano has also mentioned that which should be given priority over here so if uh, there is a conflict between must be and performance category both are giving same ratings out of 63 so it is 50 50 like that or something like that so any any uh, any number which is uh, having a tie like that in two categories like that you have to give uh, priority to must be category as compared to performance dimension so if this is uh, let us say somebody has responded 20 over here performance category also 20 so we should be which category it will fall it should be in must be category like that okay because must be should be given priority as compared to performance i am going a uh, one level down out of this so in this case i will not go to one level up i will go to the one level down over here so uh, must be category should be prioritized like that so functional questions and dysfunctional question positive questions or negative questions uh, in the sample survey will provide me enough information to uh, and using cano tables like that i can i can i can just uh, figure out uh, in which category it falls whether it is positive category or whether it is negative category like that whenever i have done this whenever i have done this then we can also calculate a satisfaction coefficient and dissatisfaction coefficient over here so uh, what was mentioned in this article is that so satisfaction coefficient can be calculated and that that considers attractive and one dimensional category for a uh, for a uh, sub voice of the or items over here we we can understand attractive category and uh, one dimension category then divide it by a plus o plus m plus i like that so in this case this will give me a satisfaction index or positive index over here okay so how many people have mentioned out of for that voice of the customer how many are mentioned attractive features so if you go back to this uh, providing chinese food attractive feature is 19 over here and uh, then uh, we have to sum up with one dimensional over here so that is 9 over here so 19 plus 9 and then we have to divide by uh, a plus o plus m plus i like that so this is the total matrix we have to sum up this one so in this case so uh, 19 plus 9 divided by summation of 19 plus 9 plus 3 plus 31 so that will give me an index which is about 0.45 like that so there is a specific uh, satisfaction coefficient for this dimension or for this specific sub voices basically okay so it will go into sub voices like that so satisfaction coefficient similarly we can calculate a dissatisfaction coefficient that is given by o plus m divided by total summation of a plus o plus so this is coming out to be minus uh, 0 0.19 like that so for every sub voices we can have a satisfaction coefficient dissatisfaction coefficient like that so then what we can do is that we can we can just plot it into a two dimensional matrix like that so there will be a dissatisfaction coefficient so for a specific dimension sub dimensions we will have a dissatisfaction this is negative uh, one we can think of this is positive one we can think of on these dimensions like that so uh, this is the quadrant and in that case uh, if it is indifferent so your measurement should fall within so the measurements that we have taken over here so in this case maybe minus 0 0.19 and plus 4 5 over here so it is falling somewhere uh, uh, so this is uh, this is the quant minus 0 0.19 and 0 0.45 so in this case 0 0.19 somewhere over here and this is uh, 0 0.45 like that so somewhere over here so dimension will fall over here so that is falling in the indifferent category over here so in this case the scale can be formed and this is the 50 percent we can think of 0.5 as the uh, demarcation line over here so and also here also we have a 0.5 markation and that is the uh, i am just segmenting this into four quadrants like that we can think of and then we can place it in uh, one specific sub voice in what category it will fall okay all sub all all sub voices can be uh, placed in this diagram over here after the survey is completed after the questionnaire was dysfunctional and we have categorized like that then we can place this one so in this case these are the uh, voice of the customer let us say four three like this so this is falling in the attractive category this is in the borderline like that this is also in the one dimensional so we should move, place more emphasis in improving this one dimensional attractive feature that improves customer satisfaction basically that will improve customer satisfaction or positive uh, will have positive impact so we will place more emphasis on this type of category how to improve those things and uh, and it should not fail basically so these are the features which improves the customer satisfaction uh, we should not be worried about much indifferent category like that but must be category should also be addressed it should be there should not be any missing so we should provide this must be category so we are more interested in must be one dimensional attractive feature but we have also identified uh, some reverse uh, reverse uh, needs like that and we will try to avoid those needs uh, in the in the design basically so that will create dissatisfaction we don't want that so that is the way uh, how we are uh, differentiating using cano models so I, I am able to 
uh, stratify this one. So, I am able to stratify this one ok. So, uh, that is all what we wanted to discuss in this session. So, what we have done is that I will go back to the uh, initial discussion like that. So, what we have told is that uh, we are talking about voice of the customer over here, voice of the customer means need of the customer over here. So, for that we are doing surveys, we have identified different voices uh, of the customers. So, one of the voices may be quickly, how quickly we can deliver. So, there can that can be divided into sub voices and these sub voices can have uh, can be divided into uh, we can we can just uh, uh, give see uh, uh, some specifications to this and that will be called as CTQs and CTQs can have sub CTQs what we can see over here so this is sub CTQs like that. So, if it, any CTQ fails that means uh, dissatisfaction will improve for that voice basically. So, uh, we are converting into abstract form into specifications basically. So, if why I, why we are converting this one because then we can measure that one and then we can define defects and then we can have a chance of improvement like that. So, we want to reduce the defects that was the overall objective I told in quality. So, what is the goal of quality? So, improve yields. Uh, reduced effects. So, do we try it the first time? So, those are the agendas of quality like that. So, I am just converting into voice of the customer which is in abstract form into CTQs and then uh, try to maintain those CTQs and try to improve the CTQs and that will improve the quality basically and that will satisfy the customer. Then what we have discussed is that how to stratify the voice which is important which is not important like that. We are using uh, Cano models for that. So, there is a positive uh, it is divided into uh, uh, quadrants. Uh, so, in this case what we can see is that there are uh, features which are Cano is saying that it can be stratified into different categories. So, one is must be category one dimensional attractive indifferent reversal category. So, then uh, how do I how do I each of the voice how do I categorize like that. So, Cano uh, mentioned that we have to do a survey for that we have to place any of the sub voices into two categories like that. So, it can be uh, functional or dysfunctional like that positive questions negative questions. So, we have seen one questions for a sub voices which is providing Chinese food. So, then that uh, response is collected. So, maybe uh, n number of response are collected and each of the response can be uh, using Cano evaluation table we can categorize in which category it falls. So, one of the category is coming out to be indifferent over here for a specific response. So, then 63 responses what we have seen in this article was categorized into uh, different uh, categories based on the response what they have got and each of the subcategories is now given a specific category. So, that is uh, let us say attractive features must be features in different features like this. So, uh, whenever I have this category, but you have to remember that whenever there is a conflict I have to follow the uh, uh, lower lower level of that. So, if there is conflict between performance and must be or there is a uh, not conflict we can we can talk about there is a uh, tie over here. So, in that case I have to go one level down like that. So, that is a uh, process we will follow. So, then uh, there is a satisfaction coefficient calculation dissatisfaction coefficient that is placed into uh, quadrants ok based on the 63 response like that. So, for a specific sub voices then we can see which is attractive which is one dimensional like that using this uh, coefficient diagram customer satisfaction coefficient diagram like that and we have a negative axis positive axis over here then which category it falls and based on which category it falls we what we can do is that we can immediately. Uh, emphasize on attractive category one dimensional and must be category like that. We are not concerned much about uh, indifferent category like that. So, we will uh, stop the session over here. So, uh, what we will do is that uh, we will uh, continue from here in the next session ok. So, uh, uh, we will discuss more about uh, now translating the voice of the customer into CTQs what is the uh, quality function deployment. We will talk about quality function deployment over here. Thank you for listening. So, we will meet in session uh, 3. We will meet in session 3. Thank you.